Oh my god! Hi, right, little guy. <laughs> no, he might bite me. Okay, another morning. I'm done playing with the chipmunks. They come right up on your hand. I guess people must always feed them here, but there's tons of them, and they are not as scared of humans. So, we're just getting ready. Patrick's having his coffee. Bob's having his coffee. I don't drink coffee, so I'm just waiting. And then uh, back on the highway. Welcome to Dryden. Okay, so I see a Walmart. Oof, gas is cheap. 15 cents cheaper than the last town. But first stop, Tim Hortons. I feel like I've been driving forever. You know, you look at a map and you look at the size of Ontario and you think, eh, it looks big. It is really big. This is what, maybe, this has to be day four of driving and just through Ontario. We're coming up to Kenora, so that puts us not far from the Manitoba border. So we should make that today. But my God, this province is huge. It's mainly all uh, big granite rock formations up here. And lakes. We can't forget all the lakes, being we're still in Ontario. There's a lake every time you turn your head. Wow. Can't complain about that, I guess. So we're following Bob today. We usually let him go first, seems how he seems to have the heaviest foot. Beautiful fall colors. Yep, and what do you know, another lake. Just like I said, every two seconds, there's another one. I'm surprised we haven't run out of names for them yet. lunch here at the McDonald's in Kenora, Ontario. We're getting back on the road. Next stop, Manitoba. Welcome to downtown Kenora. Looks like a cute little town. Pretty much what I expected it to be. Yep, City Hall. Of course, a traffic circle in the middle of the Trans Canada Highway. Why not? And that's Kenora. So onward we go. Next stop, Manitoba border. kilometers to the provincial boundary. We're getting there. Welcome to Manitoba. Okay, well, we've been driving in Manitoba for about an hour now. And I think it's fair to say it looks pretty similar to Ontario, other than the roads are a lot crappier. Come on, Manitoba, fix your roads. Well, it's a start. I guess they are repairing the highway. And boy, does she ever need it, so. Good work, guys, good work. Well, we're just 
coming into Winnipeg. You can kind of see it off in the distance. Those big buildings. But the geography is already changing, that's for sure. It's already starting to get fairly flat. Well, we're just coming into Winnipeg. Look at the size of this train. Now that's a big one. I only saw two engines on the front of it though. Maybe there's more on the back of it. Heading west to Brandon, Manitoba. How nice, they named this city after me. back onto the Trans-Canada Highway, Manitoba number 100, heading west. Manitoba, I hate your roads. This is friggin' insane. I do not understand. Does the whole province not have a friggin' road grader or what? We're doing like 10 kilometers an hour and still have several more kilometers to go down this road. If you even want to call it a road. Obviously the people out here are well used to it because as you see, this guy's just flying down the road. Oh boy, wish us luck. Well, Good morning from Bowdry Provincial Park here in Manitoba. Here's where we spent the night at this little campsite. More than enough room for all three of us. There's Bob. He's woken up. Beautiful view this morning. Lots of fog coming off the river. Hopefully it turns into a nice day. The sun's coming out. There's our camp spot again. Nothing around here other than fields. You can still see the, uh, the fog hovering around the field. But other than that, it's a cold morning. It's only two degrees. Look, you can see in this footage how bad these roads are. They're just washboard. Precious is off doing her sniffing. Bob's awake, he's waking up Patrick. And then I guess we'll be uh, ready to go. And we're back on this terrible road. Jeez, this road is terrible. So slow and steady, eventually we'll get there. And welcome to Portage La Prairie. We are getting there. Next stop though, McDonald's for breakfast. Okay, we made it to McDonald's. Whoop, Bob just got here. Okay, let's go get some breakfast. The good old saying, waste not, want not. Apparently, we're growing hay in the middle of the highway. <laughs> so, yep, we're uh, starting to get into, I guess, what you would call the prairies. 96 kilometers from Brandon. We're going to stop there because we need gas and propane and some groceries. Well, we're in Brandon, Manitoba. So, let's see if they have propane, and a uh, grocery store, preferably a Walmart. Okay, just like that, we're done our grocery shopping at the Walmart. They even had a Dairy Queen, so I indulged in a blizzard. And now we're back on the Trans-Canada Highway. But uh, I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, share the video, and be sure to subscribe. And uh, 
the next one I should be in Saskatchewan by then. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.